Hey everybody, and welcome to Steelbook Obsessed. My name is Jake, and I'm not gonna waste any more time with you because I'm still in shock that I got this. I'm still in shock that Dark Sky Films sent me this for review. This is absolutely insane. This, of course, is the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 50th anniversary box set. And the first thing I have to say is, dear God, the box is a work of art all on its own. I'm gonna show off every ounce of this sucker, every nook and cranny. And you can also see on the bottom that it's numbered. Looks like I got number 1276 out of 5,000. This thing's amazing. Like, I, <laughs> I need to display this somewhere in my house because I love everything about this. This sucker looks phenomenal, but I think we should open it up, right? I think we should open it up and see everything that we can, if I can. Is there tape? There might be tape. I don't want to rip this. Let me change to a different view, actually. If you like these type of unboxing videos, I'm trying to do more and more of them, especially for nice things like this. So if you want to see more physical media goodies like this, make sure you like and subscribe. But uh, let's waste no more time and let's start with the unboxing because I am very excited to get my hands on this thing. So we are back, my friends. Here is the gloriousness of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 50th anniversary. And I got to tell you, oh boy, <laughs> look at the goodies right here. I can see the blade. I can see the actual chainsaw itself. Let's unbox this sucker. Take this sucker out. Move the great box just in the background a little bit. Maybe we can see it if I put it this way. Let's take off this sucker. Looks like we get a chainsaw of course the blade that you put inside the actual motor itself housing that here is what this guy looks like you know it's a chainsaw kind of what you want that is where this sucker pops in i'm assuming let's do this let's see if i can do this on camera and maybe possibly are there instructions involved no you just put a thing and another thing and that is it okay i'm gonna put the styrofoam back in this sucker just so i don't have to worry about it anymore but dear god i mean the pictures that i've seen of this thing make it look smaller than what it actually is i would say this is two and a half feet the blade is really long the blade itself is at least 18 inches this is a nice sized uh nice sized chainsaw for sure kind of has the nice hold right here i feel very much like leatherface or uh, some uh, ash evil dead goodness i don't know if i can pull okay so this part does not move nothing about this is really movable except i know that it makes noise i wonder where it makes noise at i know that it opens up right here so maybe if we kind of put some force there there's the pop okay and here is everything that is housed inside the first thing we get this is not a steel book. This is a slip cover with the great artwork on here. I thought it was going to be a steel book. It is not. I am fine that it is not, but this is, I want to say the same 4k transfer that just recently came out here. Actually, while uh, we're walking, I can pull. This is what this is, except with a different slip cover. This is the dark sky 4k of Texas Chainsaw Massacre that they released last year. And I don't know what artwork is on the inside of this. Let me grab my handy dandy tool to open this sucker up. There we go. Let's unwrap this bad boy if I can get it and I don't damage the goods. That's the last thing I want. Nice rip there. Love me the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I'll put my letterbox review right up there for you to see while I continue to unwrap this thing. And I honestly thought that the Dark Sky transfer looked phenomenal. So if you don't have this in the collection, yes, this is the exact same transfer. I want to say it comes with a couple of new special features. Yes, the film, which you are about to see, is a new special feature hunters of another kind and then everything else that originally came with it i thought that they were supposed to be like the merchandise of the texas chainsaw massacre and maybe there is like i said okay there's a new disc artwork that's different of course than this release because this is newer and this is the artwork that is on the box so all the artwork is the same on each and every disc um, but i am interested to kind of see all the special features that are on here. Again, this is just an unboxing video for this sucker. But I will say, slipcover, 
looks mighty and mighty nice going back on here i don't even think i showed off the back cover of this or i did i no i didn't i don't think i did maybe i did maybe i didn't but there that is in all of its gloriousness but the main reason why i was excited about this release pull up from the side like this and here is the texas chainsaw massacre new vhs tape very very cool to see i i have two different versions of the texas chainsaw massacre on vhs but it's still cool in the year 2024 that we're getting amazing releases like this i should just be able to like pull up yes on the plastic i gotta open it up i gotta see what the actual tape looks like I, 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 I'm i going to do a video, just <laughs> spoilers, I'm going to do a video on all the amazing VHS releases that we've gotten just this year alone. And right here is what the tape looks like. Simple to the point. I kind of want to pop the sucker in and see exactly what it looks like, but I love the old school art that's on this release. I think this looks nice. Unparalleled Terror, the most horrifying motion picture you'll ever see, says Rex Reed. What happened is true. Now the motion picture, that's just as real. I don't know. I am liking how bold the font is on the VHS tape. And honestly, I think I'm going to put this with my other VHS tapes. I don't think I'm going to put this in the actual chainsaw itself. Even though this is a very, very cool piece of of memorabilia for the movie. I don't know. I'm still I'm still deciding here. I'm still deciding. And before I show off more of my thoughts on this release, I just want to show off the VHS tape one more time and kind of go over what an original VHS tape for the Texas Chainsaw Massacre looked like. The same quote that's on the new VHS tape was on the old one. This is a media release back in the day back in 1984 is when this one was released and yes i found it at goodwill for 79 cents and i'm not taking that off because i absolutely love that it's one of those uh, vhs tapes to where it opens from the top or bottom and to kind of see all of its gloriousness right here yes look at that media font 84 minutes just very very cool i don't know i i love having new vhs tapes and old vhs tapes just kind of hanging out in the same collection and i love this artwork I love all the artworks. I love, I honestly think both of these look very, very nice. And I'm glad that I have both of them in the collection now. So there you have it. That was the unboxing of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 50th anniversary box set. And as you can see here, like the blade is pretty dang big. It's probably half of my arm right here. Um, this is a decently made replica like it. It's plastic, but it doesn't really feel like cheap plastic. There's magnets that house this part together, which is kind of nice. And I will say when I opened it, there were no like chainsaw noises. And I thought there was a button that I needed to press. There is no button. If you see, I don't even know if I can show you here in here. Yeah, there you go. There's a little sound box that I found after I was done recording. So if I take the tape off here, you can hear it. So then you close it and it stops and then you open it and it goes again. So I might just keep this little piece of tape and put it on there because every time I open this set, I don't know if I want those noises to go off or not. Um, this set is pretty dang nice. Um, the big question, is it $300 nice? <laughs> I don't know if I have an answer for that. Honestly, this is something that's wholly unique. Nothing like this will ever get reproduced again. And there's only 5,000 of them produced. Um, it's just cool to have for the 50th anniversary of this iconic franchise. And it's also cool that it comes with a VHS tape. This is what is giving me like, yeah, they aren't going to just like reproduce this and put this in stores like they did for terrifier 2 the only way you can get a new vhs tape of a horror classic is to buy this set and then also i i i'd love i i love the artwork that they commissioned for this release i think it looks absolutely phenomenal but you do get the movie and you get the movie a second time and you get a nice box 
and you get the chainsaw. Is that worth $300 to you? I will let you make your own mind up. I know that this is only on darkskyselect.com currently to purchase. It's not on Amazon. It's not on any other website that I have found personally. Um, I don't know what that means. I don't know if there will be price drops for this release. I know that there was a Black Maria car set um, for some sort of special edition for Texas Chainsaw Massacre. That one eventually did go down in price. I don't know how well this sucker is selling for Dark Sky. I'm hoping that it's selling all right though, because I do like seeing originality in 2024 like this release. This is something wholly unique. And just to have your stuff, to have your stuff housed in here is pretty dang cool. I will do just some more close-ups of the chainsaw here. You can see that the blades are kind of popping out on this as well. I don't know. The, the more I'm holding this in my hand, the more um, I don't know. The the, the the more it's justifying the three hundred dollar price point, I guess. Um, do I wish like some of this was made out of metal to? even confirm that price and put that price more in line with something of like a premium quality that would be cool but like i said physical media in 2024 is becoming more and more focused on the collector and having that mindset when they're making their products to be like hey people who love this franchise what can we do to make them purchase this item because Physical media is slowly and slowly just becoming less and less of a big bubble and it's uh, becoming collector focused and that's a good thing for me because that's what I am and that's what I like to collect back here um, and I, I think companies are just trying to find innovative ways to see what we will buy and uh, how much we will pay for it. So let me know in the comments what you think of this set because I want to know your thoughts on this specifically. I, I love knowing your thoughts on physical media releases, but this is something pretty dang unique. Thank you once again to Dark Sky Films for sending this my way for the unboxing purposes and to kind of spread the word on this release because it is pretty dang cool that something like this is still happening for a 4K release. Um, yeah, thanks again for watching. And until next time, I'll see ya. Hey everybody, and welcome to the after credit scene of this video. You found it, good for you, good for you. My question for you on this video is, what, how, I, what, how, why? <laughs> this is a great set for a great horror franchise. I want to know what would be your dream packaging for other horror movie sets like this. Personally, I would have loved, I know Dark Sky doesn't have the rights and that's why they can't do this, but I would personally love to have a set, like a leather face collection of movies. I know Lionsgate owns a couple, Vinegar Syndrome put out the second one, Dark Sky I want to say only has rights to the first, Netflix has rights, like the, the Texas Chainsaw franchise is all over the place with IP, but Paramount owns all of Friday the 13th. Um, and then I don't know. I, I just want, I want to know how you would like to house some of your favorite horror movies in a very unique way, not just like a box set, but something unique like this. And if you like unique pieces like this, cause like I kind of, uh, focused in on earlier, I'm not going to keep the movies in this. This is just going to be a display piece. This is going to be on my shelf and this is going to be on my VHS shelf. So let me know in the comments if you're like me, like, would you keep this in the chainsaw and just be like, yeah, anytime I want to open up and watch Texas Chainsaw Massacre, this is how I'm going to do that experience. Um, let me know. Let me know. And uh, I guess to zoom out on this one, I got to do the, the, the chainsaw.